What is up again, guys? Josh here with the Pride Productions, jumping back into Pro Tools, a new PT tutorial number 14. We're going to make some video game style music today. I'm going to show you how I do things. We're going to keep it simple, but the thing is, we're going to make it with only the free plugins, the free instrument plugins you get with Pro Tools when you purchase it. So we're going to make something kind of neat. It's going to be simple. It's not going to be super complicated, but I'm going to make it at least interesting enough to where it'd be a cool loop for a video game and it doesn't sound so completely and super, super generic. And you can make it really, really quick. So check it out. We're going to need a few things, okay? Now, there's a few things. Like I said, there's there's several things we have to do to set up, so we're going to make it quick. Go to track, okay? Go to new, and let's go ahead and set up our tracks. Now, we need a few, so go to stereo and make sure they're instrument tracks, and we need four of these bad babies, so click on that. Press four, press enter, and you have four instrument tracks. Baby, we're not done yet. Add another track. Go to new, but this time, make it a stereo track as well, but make it an auxiliary input, so aux input, press create. You have, your, you have your little aux one input there. Boom, you can name it whatever you want. We'll do a couple of those in a second. Track one more again. Go to create, click track. We're done, son. Now, we need to set up our inputs and outputs, right? We've done that. we got all our tracks here that we're going to need for this little session. That's all. Let's go to window. We're in the edit window, but we need to go to the mix window, and we have everything here. Now, these four instruments are going to be going through this auxiliary, so we need this auxiliary to be going through the main, and we will make the click do it as well, but they're set to something weird, so let's go ahead and set those first. Make sure the output is set to whatever you use. I only have one, and that's, this one. that's the one I'm supposed to use. So now that it's selected, everything will be able, I'll be able to hear everything. If they aren't selected correctly, and we've talked about this a thousand times, you won't hear anything. So definitely jump with that, or definitely uh, 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 do some tests with that. Make sure you know which one you're using. Now all we need to do is make sure that these four are actually going into the input of this bus so they're all together and we can affect them together here. It's kind of like a master track. We've talked about bus tracks before, so let's create an input for this bus. Go down to bus, and we'll just pick one and two. Boom, there we go. But that means these four, instead of going to the main, we want them to go output into this input, one and two. So we'll go to here, go to the bus, and set it to one and two. You'll see it's orange, brah. That means we can use it, so click on it. Boom, so now we need to make sure all four of those are set to that bus one and two. Let's do that now. There we go, ta-da, let's do one more thing and turn this up just a tad, because I like it loud, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Even though this is going to be kind of a, a, a chill track. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty much good here. Let's go back to the edit window, okay? And now what we can do to test our click, because we got our click in there, is we can just rewind at the beginning, like I said, and press that button. Press play, see if we can hear our click. We sure can. It's kind of quiet. I don't want it to be overwhelming, but I need it there. Here's the thing. I want the tempo to be a little different. The tempo set to 120 right now. You can double click this little red arrow. I'm going to set it to 170. Press enter and boom. Now we can check out the click again. Aha. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get started. First things first, let's double click on instrument one and we're gonna name it bass, bro. The bass. All kind of bass fishing. Now, the thing is, we're gonna use the expand two because that, again, is a free instrument with Pro Tools. So we're gonna click on this plugin right here. We're gonna go down to instruments. Uh huh. We're gonna go down to the expand two. Bada bing, let's keep it simple. You may not be able to see some of these windows, but let's keep it really simple. Click on the down arrow, look for bases, and then go to the next window and click slap base, and boom, we'll be done. That's all we'll do here. We'll keep it super simple. Now we're going to right click on the editor of the base, of the base track, jump in there, and write some music. We're making a little riff in A right now, a little simple. We're going to make it uh, kind of complicated, like kind of syncopated, and we'll make it over three measures instead of four just to keep things interesting. So check me out. A couple A's right here, and then uh, maybe another. A G and an A right there. Another A right here. Two more A's. Two more A's right there. And then another G and an A. Oh, oh, wait, wait. That one right there and that one right there. See how I did that? Let's put a B flat right there. We got that note. Now what I want to do is go over to this this little tab right here, a little stretcher, and stretch that note out to where it actually takes up the whole two notes there. It's a, it's a half note instead of a quarter note or a quarter note instead of an eighth note or whatever. Now I can click back to the beginning and listen to it. has like a neat little trill to it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the whole thing. Go to this, where it has the line, and you can select different sections. Select the whole section, Control D, and boom, you'll have a second one. Now all I wanna do is go back to the finger, could I get that finger out, and drag that up to a C right there, you know what I'm talking about? So I have a whole little, it changes the last note. That's all I did was change the last note the second time you play. So now what I'm gonna do is select the whole thing like this, and I'm gonna hold Control and press D one, two, three times. Now I can scroll and I have the whole section four times. And again, just to check it out, I can go click the finger or whatever you want, go back to the beginning, press the space bar and check it out. Nice, it's gonna repeat that. Let's keep going. Let's go to our second window here, a second instrument track, I mean, and let's double click on that, name it the uh, piano, bruh. It's gonna be the piano track. 
okay? We got a cool instrument that comes free with Pro Tools for that as well. Go down to the instruments and go down to the mini grand. To keep things simple, I'm just going to let it load up and we'll use exactly what comes with it. Again, you should definitely toy around and have fun, but we're keeping it simple. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, right click and go into the edit window of this bad baby. Now we're working with three measures here, so let's use that to our advantage. So what I'm going to do is I'll skip the first three notes though. Start on the fourth one. Let's add a few notes right here. So I have these four notes right here, a little quad chord, you know what I'm talking about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all four of these, go to this line, and drag it to the end of the third measure. Boom. That's exactly what we want right there. Now what I'm going to do, control, or not control, we'll grab this little line thing right here, select the whole thing, and again, control D and copy it over. We know it's going to be the same length. It's three measures. But we're going to change the notes a few times. So if you listen to it here, that's your first chord. Let's listen to a second one. Let's change it a little bit here, okay? Let's grab this high E down to a low E. There we go. And let's grab this uh, C right here and drag it down to a G. So this will be our second chord. So we have two little quad chords there, a little interesting, you know what I'm talking about? And all we'll do now is the same thing we did before. Like I said, keeping it simple, grab the whole thing, control D one, two, three times. And if we exit out of here now, we can look at the main edit window and we hold alt to scroll in and out, right? We can see that they're the same length. We can rewind at the beginning, press play and check it out. Pretty sweet, right? Let's keep going. Let's go to our third instrument here and name it, uh, name it Pad. Name it Pad, bro. We're going to add another expand. So we're going to go the same thing here. Instrument, okay? We're going to go to expand number two. Now, here's the thing. I want to turn down the volume of this one. I don't want it to be as loud. You know what I'm talking about? I want to go about right there, okay? I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go to Soft Pads. And you'll see one called Celeste Pad. It's like a, a Celeste Pad or something like that. And that's the one we're going to select right there. We're going to go into our right click, go into the Edit Window, okay? We're going to go to the very beginning. We're going to make sure at the very beginning we're going to add a few notes here. We're going to add an A. A G and an E. Give it that kind of kind of kind of little weird chord right there. It's not even a chord. It's a chord. I just don't know what. And since this is gonna go the whole time and I don't really care, I'm gonna drag it for a long, long, long time. You know what I'm talking about? Just all kind of time. You know what I'm saying? And boom, be done. Now look how long it went. It don't matter. You can adjust that if you want. It's just in there for these purposes. But now the point is I can solo this so I can rewind to the beginning, make sure I solo the pad and the auxiliary, and listen to it. So basically, we're going to be adding that little patty sound over top the whole thing, and it'll kind of sound like this. Nice! Okay, except for the, the, the click, kind of sounds generic. It's time to add a little percussion. I'll double click on this bad baby, and type it perk. Okay, that's percussion. And what we'll do for this, click right here, go to instruments, again, as, as well. But go to the boom, again, another free one that comes with Pro Tools. This is kind of like a little percussion kind of thing. You can tell you, you click on different notes. If you click on different pads, you'll have different sounds and stuff like that. But what you can do is you can go in here and click a certain factory preset. Well, that's what we're going to do. So go down to the 101 through 120, click the early afternoon bro. That's when we're going to use. And now we can start making our little, uh, making our little sound. Right click, go into the editor. Now you have all your different sounds across this little keyboard right here, right? Now the, 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 the bass drum is the C1. You see the little numbers here, right? So I know that. Different things like that have a different sounds. I know what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the bass drum follow the bass rhythm. So I'm going to quickly type that in. Couple right chair. Couple right chair. Put another one right there. Couple more right here, bro. Okay. And then a couple more right there. And then one more right here. Boom. And see what's going on now is that is following the bass. You know what I'm talking about? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go move this over a little bit. Actually, we'll end up closing it, but I'm going to mute the click track. You know what I'm talking about? So now we're not going to have that click anymore. Beautiful. Let's right click, go back into the window editor or the, the MIDI editor, and let's keep going. We're going to add a couple snare drums. It's going to be this sound right here. You know what I'm saying? So check out where I, where I, where I add these. A few different places right there to kind of give it like a kind of a kind of a kind of an offbeat kind of sound. And then we want to add our hi-hat, and that's this note right here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one on every other note. So go across and make sure on every other note you have one of these. So now we have our simple beat and we can listen to it. There it was, pretty simple, right? Let's keep it, let's keep moving with it a little bit. This note right here is kind of like a little cymbal sound. I'm gonna put one right after the snare sound or the clap, okay? I'm gonna put it right there, you know what I'm talking about? Now also, this little sound right here, I like it. I'm gonna do two of them at the very end of the measure. A couple right there. You can listen to it again. It'll add a little more, add a little more feel to it. 
Pretty cool, right? And one more thing, because I like it. It's this little, little, little A right here, bro. This little A. I'm going to add one right before the second snare. You can see how I'm doing that? And that's literally all I'm going to do. Boom. Now, what I could do after that is literally just, I know how many times I need this. I need it doubled, and then the whole thing, I need it four times. So I doubled it by Control-D, grab the whole thing, one, two, three, and now I have all kind of them. We can check and see if it's the same size as the other one. It is. And now what I can do is I can rewind to the beginning and check it out. got some music bro we got some music and now what we're gonna do is make it sound a little prettier because it's real dry you know what i'm talking about first thing i'm gonna do is go down to our auxiliary right that's what everything's going through and this is why we can use it like a master track so we're gonna click on it go down to the eq open up the seven band we got all kind of stuff to do here now the first thing i'm gonna do is click on this bad baby and drag it all the way down and kind of as i'm listening i'm gonna drag it about right here which is way too high and i'm gonna adjust that low pass to where i like it Pretty simple, nothing major. They're just kind of like toyed with it a little bit, made it sound a little, a little brighter and not as much low end. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. So what we need now is a small compressor. Let's go to the dynamics. Let's go down to the the, the compressor and limiter here. And I'm gonna again keep it simple. We're gonna go down to vocal leveler. Okay, and I'm gonna take this down to about just a little lower, about like the two, the 2.0 mark. Okay, and I'm gonna turn the gain down just a little bit as well, not much, but just a little bit, like about right there. And like I said, now what we can do is like rewind at the beginning, press play, and go back and forth. And I'll start it bypassed, right? I'll go back and forth and make sure that it's compressing just a little. We don't want crazy compression here, just to bring out some of that soft pad when the piano's playing, when the piano's fading off. When the things aren't going on, like I said, you want that compression. It's always pulling the softer instruments out, or instruments out just a little bit, so you can hear them. So let's check it out. Sure, as you can tell, the whole thing got a little louder, but what really made a difference is the lower sounds in the background. That's exactly what we wanted. So we'll add one more thing to really flare this thing out because it's a little boring. Like I said, it's so flat, and that's because it's miss it doesn't have any depth, and that's what it needs is a little reverb. So let's go right here and go to the reverb and go to the air reverb. Again, it's another free reverb with Pro Tools. Now, this is what I like to do. What, usually what I'll do is I will solo the auxiliary and solo the bass, and I'll even solo myself right now so you can hear me. So as I solo this and solo the bass as well, I can listen to the bass with this on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this right here, right here to four seconds. It's going to be four, and I'm going to set this to, I think, about the number six is what I'm saying. So if I, you set this whole thing to the number six, and you have 6% at a four-second reverb time, and you listen. Sure, that sounds cool, but that's a lot of high end on the reverb. You'll see this cut here. It's already set at a really good frequency, so you're going to see me listen to it again and adjust this to bring it down a little. So now we have a really low, deep reverb. And again, we have it kind of, we, we if, if you need to EQ it out, go ahead and EQ it out. We're keeping it simple. But the point is you can hear the difference between how flat it is and how much more depth it has. So again, now we can unsolo all this mess, including myself, so we can hear everything. We can rewind at the beginning and jam it out and see what we got going on. Nice, bro. I'm talking about guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this was kind of like a cool idea. You could use it. Feel free. This is just something I'm toying with having fun, but I wanted to show you guys that creating little style loops for video game music, you could add a melody over this. You could make little changes, but you can see we did this in just several minutes. It took no time and it, it literally used the free plugins with Pro Tools here very soon. I want you guys to know that I'm going to start doing some different Pro Tools tutorials where I'm covering some much more expensive and much more powerful VIs, virtual instruments like Omnisphere, Ivory, 
um, and, and many, 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 many more. You know, I've said many, many more east west plugins, um, acoustic guitar plugins, all these different things, even even amplifier simulators. So some of the more powerful ones. So just the future. That kind of stuff costs money, but believe me, it's amazing. Not not, not saying this stuff isn't though. But I hope you guys learned a little, a little something, guys. Thanks for watching again. It's been a long time since we've been in Pro Tools. Josh here. Please subscribe to the Depri Productions YouTube channel. Please hit up Facebook. We got an EP, a second EP coming out May 25th. That's just in a few days. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, three tracks, Cycloptic, right after our first EP came out a year ago, Final Alpha. Okay, hope you guys have the, at least Final Alpha now, and hope you guys will pick up Cycloptic in a few days. It's $3. I'll give you some more details here in a day or two. And again, when it comes out, I'll make sure you guys can get your hands on it immediately. But guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you. We miss you. It's been a long time since we've been in a PT. We're just trying to pump out a handful of tutorials real quick to show you guys that we're sorry for being gone for two weeks. But guys, seriously, thank you so, so, so much. You guys have been great, okay? I'll talk to you next time. Peace.